Okay, so I wanted to make a little video here, a PSA, as you will, about high beam use. I've been noticing a lot of people driving around in traffic with their high beams on. If you notice this little blue light here, that's telling you that your high beams are on. And if you're driving around in traffic with those on all the time, you're blinding everybody in front of you. So what you need to do is pull back on your turn signal indicator and it'll click and that indicator light will go off. And then you'll be just using your regular headlights and you'll be fine. Also notice that there's a lot of people that will drive around in fog with their high beams on and that doesn't help. That just makes the fog worse when you're trying to drive in because it actually aims the lights upward and then it reflects the light from back right into your face from the fog. So if you have fog lights on your car you can turn those on by turning this little ring here on your turn signal indicator and then you have a little green light here that shows that your fog lights are on. Then that gets the, the lights down below the fog so you can see better in the fog. And then if you turn your high beams on with the fog lights on, it turns the fog lights off and turns the high beams on. And if you pull back on the lever again, it turns the high beams off and the fog lights back on. Headlights on, high beams on. Headlights on, fog lights on. Headlights off, fog lights off. All lights off. This is parking lights on. Headlights on and fog lights on. Headlights on and fog lights off. Headlights on and high beams on. Now there's a, another thing you can do with your high beams and that's communicate with other drivers. When there's another driver coming approaching you with their high beams on, you can pull back on the lever and it'll flip, flip right back. So if you do that like two or three times like that, it flashes your high beams at them. And that's a request for them to turn their high beams off. So if you see somebody doing that, you need to turn your high beams off because you're blinding them. Okay, so I also wanted to share with you from the Indiana driver's manual, which is online about the use of headlights. So I live in Indiana, so that's why I'm reading from the Indiana driver's manual. It says driving at night, headlights. Drivers must use headlights between sunset and sunrise, as well as any other time in which visibility is less than 500 feet. When headlights are on, lower headlight beams must be used when approaching within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle or when following within 200 feet of the rear of another vehicle. Okay, so I just wanted to come on here and make that little announcement um, to kind of help people out because, you know, it really hurts people's eyes at night when you're driving around in the city with your high beams on. It's not necessary. You've got street lights. You can see. Other cars can see you. The only time you really need to be using the high beams like this is when you're out in the country and it's 
not there's not very much light outside so please don't be using those in traffic